comes the queen. The following contest is a fatal four-way ladder match. Making her way to the ring from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Back at NXT, Charlotte was part of a group called the Four Horsewomen with Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Becky Lynch. Wow, has Charlotte evolved from those times. First ever women's Hell in a Cell match against Sasha Banks. An amazing Iron Man match as well. Charlotte has accomplished it all in such a short period of time. And you can see the respect from the WWE Universe for Charlotte. Michael, Corey, you guys ready to feel the glow? Anyone? And her opponent. All right, just me. First, from Orlando, Florida, Naomi. Byron, just because Naomi dances, that is not an open invitation for you to do the same. Why? Because Naomi's actually good at it. I can do the electric slide. Naomi's one of the most respected superstars in all of the women's division. One of the most athletic superstars in the history of WWE. A former pro basketball cheerleader, professional dancer. Naomi can do it all from bell to bell. And one of the most fun and exciting entrances in all of WWE. Bob your head, Corey, when Naomi comes out. How can you not get lost in the moment? Go ahead, Naomi, get it, girl. I'm an unbiased broadcaster, Saxton. Oh, just a grump. Behold the Empress of Tomorrow. Asuka! And from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! Her dominance, her unique appearance, and her unmistakable aura have all made Asuka one of the top competitors in the entire women's division. You know, I will never forget the first time I saw Asuka enter the NXT arena. She had so much buzz surrounding her debut, and I, I think it's safe to say Asuka has certainly lived up to her reputation. One of the most dominant female superstars ever in WWE. The baddest woman on the planet. It absolutely amazes me how quickly Ronda Rousey and seamlessly made her transition from the world of mixed martial arts to WWE. She improves each and every time she steps in the ring. A real natural. And from Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey's got her game face locked. She is ready to compete.
With these four superstars battling in the ring all at once, we're in for a classic. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, that's how you establish dominance. Just using the elbow as a weapon. Head scissors applied. Ooh, oh, look at this. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Lariat. Here we go, back inside the ring. It only took Asuka a matter of six months to become the number one contender to Bayley's NXT Women's Championship. Well, Bayley had no intention of leaving Dallas without her most prized possession. She always wanted to prevail, not just for her, but for every little girl in the crowd, watching with tears in her eyes, hoping she wasn't going to lose that title. But then, she met Asuka. Boo-hoo. You brought up Asuka's championship match. I noticed Saxton fanboying a little bit. Look, Bailey could be the most beloved superstar in NXT history, but Asuka didn't care. You didn't find sympathy from Asuka when she made Bailey pass out in the middle of the ring. It was a shocking win, but upon reflection, if Bailey set the standard for being an NXT champion, Asuka elevated it tenfold. Back now inside the ring. Uh-oh. Neckbreaker! I was lucky enough to call many of Charlotte Flair's biggest matches as she kickstarted the women's revolution with the likes of Bayley, Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, and so many more. Oh, and she gets floored by that one. Yeah, there's no staying on your feet after something like that. Continuing to punish them. Corey, Charlotte's NXT run helped more than just women. It also helped the brand grow as those women's matches brought many new viewers to WWE Network. NXT is appointment viewing for folks every week. And the women there are tomorrow's main eventers. Charlotte's groundwork is a big reason for that. She's taking on some heat. But you can bet there's still plenty of gas left in the tank. This might slow her down, Cole, but don't expect it to stop her. Not when there's so much at stake in this ladder match. I don't know what happened. Oh. She looked to be in firm control of this match just a few moments ago. When you're a superstar in a fatal four-way match for a coveted WWE Championship, or to be number one contender, or just to settle a score, there are times you could be in there with a... He's turning the tables. They ain't turned yet. Still got some work to do. And here comes Charlotte. She's got that gleam in her eyes. Setting up for a neck breaker. Ouch. She got her good there. When we talk about fatal four-way matches, and Corey, you mentioned this before, everyone is battling for themselves. Alliances are fleeting, and a rivalry can be conceived or renewed at any time. There are instances when friends have to battle one another if they are to achieve everything they want to in sports entertainment. Michael, that's true. As we've seen in the past, sometimes you have friends, even members of a brotherhood, clash in a fatal four-way matchup. Think back to what we saw at 2015's Payback when Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose ended up throwing down. When I think of these saddest betrayals in WWE history, Charlotte cutting down her looking for the... Charlotte with the spear! She can end it here. Oh man, Ronda Rousey doesn't even know where she is. You mentioned that moment where Charlotte fired her father. It was harsh, but she brought up a good point. Back then, folks still called her Ric Flair's daughter. Well, Ric may have led her to success, but she's become a megastar without it. Now they've patched things up, and the world will soon know him as Charlotte Flair's dad instead.
Boom, what impact. Here she goes, back in the ring now. Back in the ring now. Ronda Rousey not in the best shape here, guys. Her opponent is clearly getting the best of her here. When I talk about Fatal 4 matches, I always think back to the classic battle at Backlash 2007 between Shawn Michaels, John Cena, Randy Orton, and the Rated R Superstar Edge. The action was so fast and furious from the get-go, it served as a prime example of why a superstar needs eyes in the back of their head in a Fatal 4-Way match. Oh, and the winner finds the mark. Gonna be tough to bounce back from that one. She's getting that ladder position perfectly. Well, setting it up is one thing, climbing it is entirely different. Toss to the outside. Down to the floor. She's making the climb now, guys. Here we go. Can she pull it down? We're about to find out. It seems a bit early to be going for the win, if you ask me. Not if they can win it right here, though. Here's Naomi. Check her out. Here's Naomi. Harsh impact. Oh man, she's rolling now. German suplex. She might have it. A stop in the leg. Just nasty. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. This is Charlotte's best chance. The queen has to capitalize. And here we go with Charlotte. Spectacular. These superstars still look fairly fresh to me, which means we may want to settle in. This one may go the long haul. Oh, oh and the elbow right on the jaw. Look at her here. This might end badly. Putting it all on the line. Nick. She's lined it up perfectly, right where it needs to be. Ooh, what impact. With the damage sustained by Naomi, she could be on her way out. She may not be able to go on much longer here in this fatal four-way match. We're about to find out what she's made of here, guys. She's beaten and battered right now. But can she come back from it? That's the big question. You still feel the glow when the lights are out? Nice move by Naomi there, guys. Huh? Here's a few clips from the last match for us. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. Here is your winner, Naomi. Going to feel the effects of this win for a while. These four girls fought their hearts out, Michael. But in the end, only one was the victor.